Hey guys, this is Marwan Bamley from the Sketch Monkey, and in this video, I'm gonna talk to you about design sketching and how to simplify things when you start out sketching. So, we're gonna sketch a guitar in this video, and what to think about, we're gonna talk about what to think about when you're starting out and kind of break the whole product down into simple geometries. That's what it's all about. So, use anything you have around you, like an old envelope or maybe your diploma that you don't need anymore and grab a pen and let's get to work. All right, so what I'm gonna be using for this video is regular printing paper. I'm using my big round stick. I love these pens. You can get them for $1.50 and you get, I think, 10 of them or something like that. This is what the package look like. Yes, it's 10. Great pens, cheap. I love when things are cheap, so uh, if you don't have any pens you're sketching with right now, tr try and check these out. Okay, so we want to sketch a guitar, and I'm going to talk to you about simplifying your sketching, especially when you start out with a, maybe it's a new product you've never sketched be before. I don't think I ever sketched a guitar, so that's the kind of the point of this video. I'm going to try and make it as uh, useful as possible. So. The thing is, you want to break the product down into simple geometries. And what do I mean by that? Well, to me, a simple geometry is either, uh, let's say it's either a uh, an ellipse, it can be a circle, it can be a, a triangle, or it can be a a box or a square like this. Now you want to use these shapes to build up your product and then once you're happy with the overall proportions of your sketch you can start to connect these these uh, simple geometries and go into detailing and do whatever you want. This is when you start to design your shape. Once you're happy with the simple geometries and the overall shape of your sketch. And that's what we're going to talk about now. And you might want to add some shading to these. Something like this. Bam. Cool. All right, so challenge, sketch a guitar. So let's think about what a guitar actually is. Like the shape of the guitar, what is it built up with? What of these shapes can we use to build up a guitar? I would say a large ellipse is a good way to start sketching a guitar. So let's do that. I think that's cool and if we look at a guitar, it doesn't really have this. Uh, it doesn't really have this curvature, curvature in the front. So we want to cut the curvature off somewhere around here, maybe. Still have some sort of curve to it. So something like like that, I guess. Cool. And same thing at the back, we have uh, kind of like two circles. So I want to add this, it's almost a circle down here. Hopefully, we'll see if I'm going to mess everything up now, probably, but it's fine. It's not going to be the most beautiful guitar you've ever seen in your life. But that's not the purpose of this exercise anyway. So. Proportions is, it's all about proportions right now. Adding, starting to add some line weight because I'm still keeping in mind where the light is coming from. In this case, the light is coming from here. Cool. And that means that the bottom of this guitar is going to have a thicker line to it. 
since that's in the shade shaded area. So uh, from here, what can we do? Well, we still have a lot of features that are not in this sketch that we need to add. Such as the whole, first of all, I don't know all the features of a guitar, what they're called, so I'm just gonna call it the hole. Let's put the hole right here. Hopefully it's going to look good. And let's put the bar fret, I think it's called a fret. Put that right there. And it should end somewhere around here. We have this thing at the back where all the strings are attached. And I'm just gonna make that super simple. Just use a, uh, a rectangle like this. And I'm just using, and I think the fret ends here. I used to play guitar. I still play guitar, I still have a guitar but I don't play as much anymore, but it's a lot of fun. So I'm gonna have the strings attached in the back here. And this is gonna be difficult because I need to keep the strings uh, parallel over such a long distance, whatever. And the last final piece of this guitar, before we can start to go into details, is the the head up here and I'm just gonna do this same thing a simple rectangle maybe it's too big but it doesn't matter we can always adjust as we go and this should have six of these things and we have each string go to one of these and we also want to be able to tune this guitar, otherwise it's a shitty guitar. So I'm gonna add... You see how quickly you can visualize things by just using simple geometries? So I'm just using two lines, bam bam, and I'm putting an ellipse at the end of the two lines. And you can still see what it is. If you want, of course, you can go into way more detail details than this. But this is just for like brainstorming if you're starting out a project and you need to get uh, a bunch of ideas down on paper for example real quick so my lines are kind of messy right now but that's that's okay but as you can see I'm adding some line weight down here now to uh, give it some just not make it look so flat. I want to have some depth to it, even though it's not really in perspective. But uh, adding line weight makes a big difference to this. Same thing here. I want to add some line weight down here. And at the back of this thing, whatever that's called. And I kind of want to add some line weight to the I forgot what it's called. The bar fret as well. So from here we have the guitar complete and we can start by adding whatever or we can start designing this now if we want to. We can make uh, we might make uh, like a chamfer edge around here or whatever you want but to get to the basics of a product start by using try this out start by using simple geometries I think it's way simpler to start like this than to start like obsessing about details from the get-go when you just start your project. It's way easier to get the proportions down and all the elements of the product and then you can go in and start to design it and do whatever shading you like. probably shaking the whole camera right now. I'm sorry about that. And let's make some cross shading here. Cool! 
and I wanted to make some shade up here too, why not? So that's the basics of um, sketching using simple geometries. From here, uh, it kind of looks a bit flat. I want to add some shading to it, but since it's a flat surface, it's just going to have some weird reflection that goes straight ac across the guitar. Something like that. Maybe it doesn't look that good. But I'm going to keep it there anyway because I can't really erase it since it's a pen. But uh, I hope you get the point. If you have any questions about this type of sketching, I'm always happy to help you out. So just uh, comment below if you have any questions, something was unclear. And I'll see you next time. Take it easy, guys.